Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Libras their monthly love read. Libras, this is for January 2023. Can't believe it's January already, guys. Well, depending on when you watch this, it'll be close. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to get to you, them, and the connection for Libras. We're also going to get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, some the Soul Reflection Love Oracle Cards, uh, the Hermit Tarot Channeled Love Messages, White Rose Guidance Divine Love Messages Volume 2, and Whispers of the Ocean Oracle Cards from Angela Hatfield. Hartfield, sorry. Oh, wow. All right, Libras. Let's get some cards for your connection and we'll get started. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, these are general reads, guys, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read, go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unsure of what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will get you that information. There's also a link in the description box below that will get you to my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. All right, sorry. <laughs> Trying to rearrange stuff while I talk. Clearly can't do two things at once anymore, so... Sorry, my nose is like itching for no reason. Um, I don't know why it's itching. Anyways, maybe I'm going to have some truths coming out. Okay, so Libras, um, what is going on with you right now? I feel like we have three of wands, four of pentacles, and six of wands. So I feel like you have kind of been sitting in this energy of being kind of closed off, um, keeping your heart extremely guarded in terms of a love connection. Though, even though you're keeping your heart guarded, you are still like waiting for your ships to come in. I feel like, um, either you are, um, either you're, you're not in a relationship and you're waiting for your ships to come in and keeping yourself kind of closed off, or you are in a relationship in which you're like watching all this stuff happening, but you're still kind of keeping yourself closed off. I feel like you're worried, like, when is this other shoe going to drop? Like this is going quite well why when is this going to happen um when is this going to end because I don't think you're used to having a lot of great things working out for you I feel like you're always in that kind of protective mode of kind of reminds me of that song what if by Kane Brown like you know what if um I'm sorry I'm going through the lyric in my head but it's the his part um what if I hurt you what if I leave you Wait, that's not what what if I walk right out and I don't need you? What if this goes south? What if I mess this up? What if you mess this up? I don't know what it says. I can't I can't sing it without singing it. But anyways, um, <laughs> I can't say the lyrics without singing it, and I'm not singing it is what I meant. But I feel like you're in this very protective energy of like, um, what if, when is this shoe going to drop, right? I feel like uh, you are looking, you're hopeful, but you're guarded. But you are also um, understanding that love can conquer all. I feel like that you're coming in with this true love in your heart, right? Um, love conquers all. Love is victorious. That kind of mind frame. Like, so I feel like you know that love can be victorious. I feel like this is terrible so far. Sorry, guys. I'm just... Let me like get into this read. I feel like you know that this can be a victorious situation. That love can be great. That you can be successful. I think you're wishing for this and hoping for this and hoping that whatever situation you might currently be in is the, is what you feel it is, is what you want it to be. But then you're still kind of very guarded. That's what I've been trying to say for the last three minutes. Whew, okay, so your person um, has been heartbroken, um, showing up very sad, heartbroken energy. I don't think it's because of you. I think it's kind of put them in this hermit mode, which I feel like is similar to your four of pentacles. I feel like they've kind of made themselves very guarded. The hermit mode though is a little different because it kind of puts them in solidary kind of energy, but it's also healing. You can see that there's a lot of glowing happening around her in this card. So the hermit is like pulling your energy back and getting healing, learning, um, growing. 
Um, so I feel like your person has been through some heartbreak, which caused them to be in the hermit mode. But they're showing up as this hierophant, which is a higher level commitment, spiritual, um, spiritually guided commitment, someone who's very intuitive. This is a marriage. So I feel like your person has gone through hardships. I feel like your person has gone through healing, but they're showing up as marriage material for you. And I think that's this victory that you feel. I feel like you could potentially already be in a relationship with this person and you're like second guessing it and they've like been through a lot of crap too, but they're like, Hey, here I am. I'm the higher fan. I'm this higher level commitment. Um, I definitely feel like you guys, you are moving from this energy of being so guarded to much calmer waters. I feel like this person's going to show you and reassure you with their stories about their relationship, their past history. And you're going to feel like, wow, like this person is safe to love. I feel like you're going to be moving on to calmer waters together. I feel like this is not you moving away from this person. This is you guys moving from rougher waters to calmer waters. You're both opening up. You're both kind of coming together. This is a soul connection. This is a soul mate. This is something you have manifested. This is what you've been praying for. This is a, a very solid relationship, a soul connected relationship. This is um, a divine counterpart. So this showing up as your connection, this is like, definitely a divinely guided situation. We have the Hierophant, we have the Magician, we have the Emperor. Um, I feel like this is what you've been waiting for. This is a, a relationship in which you will be protected by, you'll be um, cared for, you will be provided for, and I think you'll be doing the same for your person. I think this is a divinely guided connection. This is divine masculine energy. Like I, I said, divine feminine or masculine is really not gender specific. It's more of an energy. This is like uh, being like, um, like a boss kind of being a provider, being a protector, being the other person's other half, like someone who's going to take care of you. Um, lots of passion too, because this is like an Aries card to me, like lots of fiery passion. Um, but definitely something that you have wished for, wanted for. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. So this kind of is like that slow and steady energy, right? Um, this is committed. This is grounded. This is loyal. Um, but this is slow. So, and I think it's going to be slow because you need it to be slow, to be truly honest with you, Libra. You're, you're hopeful. You're waiting. You know it can be victorious, but you've got this like what if in your head. Um, like what if I just allow myself to completely fall and then I'm just hurt myself, right? And I think your person's recognizing that because they've kind of been there, done that as well. And they're showing up as this higher font and they're going to be stable. They're going to be cons consistent. They're going to do traditional things. They're going to give you this stability that you need. Um, and I feel like this situation is going to progress for you both. Like, I don't think it's going to go quick, but I think it's going to work out well in your favor. All right, let's get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. For Libra, the dark night of the soul. Yeah, I feel like you both have gone through that. That said climax if you didn't read it. <laughs> Unspoken truth in dreams and illusions. So I feel like you will be speaking your truth with this person. I think you guys are going to have a lot of really intense conversations where you're going to talk about your dreams and what you want and your fears and your illusions. Like, um, I feel like you're going to be communicating, uh, what you're worried about, what you're concerned about. Um, and I think those feelings will be communicated and these unspoken truths will be coming out where you're going to be stating, um, I felt abandoned in the past. I've had to go through the dark night of the soul. I'm tired. I want, um, I want all these great things and I feel like I've just hit like one pothole after another. Climax. So intense sexual chemistry between the two of you. I'm not saying a word. All right, let's get the Soul's Reflection Love Oracle cards for Libra. Fun times. Well, I'd say so. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I definitely think, oops, fun times are in your future. We have um, happy family. So I feel like this is you and this person building a happy family. There are children here. So you guys could, oops, potentially have like a blended family or have children. 
um, on a pedestal, does this hurt the relationship? So I feel like, um, I feel like when you put someone on a pedestal, I don't know if this is yours or their energy or this is what's happened to you in the past where you've put someone on a pedestal so you've kind of created them to be this illusion of this great person that you didn't deserve, right? Like, um, or like you reflected everything is to like this person, I do all this stuff, I treat them so great, I do this, this, and this, I make them feel like this king or queen and they're just shit, shh, crapping on me. Try not to swear. Um, so I feel like uh, sometimes putting someone on a pedestal does make a relationship unbalanced. So be careful with that. And then we have addictions. I don't see this as being um, drinking or drugs. I feel like this is more that negative thinking um, that you have to kind of overcome. Oh, let's get some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages for Libras. This is from the Hermit Tarot. Um, I'm a very jealous person. Mm. Uh, you make my heart full. This is like the 10 of cups and I hope you'll wait for me. So we got a three and a 10, um, and some jealousy. I think that, I think that some of the past situations you guys have both been through have created some insecurities. I really do feel like you will talk this through and you, your person will make your heart full. Your person will make you feel stable. You will feel stable you will build trust and you guys will be together. And I, I think this is your person. Like, I hope you'll wait for me or you'll um, give me the time of day or give me the opportunity to show you what love is. I just got, um, I want to know what love is. I, I want you to show me. If that song is significant to you. I don't know. Let's get some White Rose Guidance Divine Love Messages, Volume 2 for Libras. Mm -hmm. You are always safe with me. I think your person's going to do a lot of reassuring for you. I think you need that. Your name is following me everywhere. That might be a sign for you or for them. You are my secret passion. And I feel like this is your energy because you're going to be like, I was not looking for something like this. I always said I would sign by myself or I wasn't going to get married or I didn't need somebody. But my gosh, you're my secret passion and I need you. Um... All right, Libras, let's get Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards from Angela Hartfield. Let's get a card for Libra to finish off Libra's read. I can't even tell you guys. So what am I on Libras? So this is a seventh read, and two cards have come out twice already. Um, so out of seven reads, four cards have been repeats. Uh, single mindedness. I guess actually two cards have been repeats, but this is um, choose your own path and what is best suited to you. So I feel like you are going to have to kind of make sure that what is best suited to you, but I think you also have to get out of your own way. So I think it's, it's helpful to think about yourself because I feel like if you put people up on pedestals previously, you're giving them kind of this um, higher uh, image, higher worth when they're really not any higher than you are and you should be putting yourself at the same pedestal so I think you do need to think about yourself and create your own path but I do think this person is best suited for you and I think they're going to show that to you so all right Libras well that concludes your read thank you guys so much for watching thanks for bearing with me I feel like all these reads are kind of not the best but uh at least where my brain is today I don't know but thank you for watching I hope you like this video please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you if you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.